Hello and welcome to Griddle Cooking Live with Chef Sherry Ronning. How are you guys today? I'm doing good. It's gorgeous here in Michigan. We're outside cooking. It's like 55 degrees here. It's in, it's still morning time. We're um, you know, in here before the the getting breakfast cooked here. So have you guys ever struggled with ideas for breakfast? Um, you know, I love breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. I think it's because there's so many different things that you can do, but I also enjoy breakfast at nighttime because I usually don't get up in, usually I get up and go to the gym and usually have a banana, half a banana there, half a banana on the way back. And that's about what my breakfast is in the morning. So I am you know, I, I love breakfast. I grew up on a farm and we always had hearty breakfasts growing up. And my mom always made the best. She made the best eggs, the best pancakes, the best uh, sausage. And it was, I, I loved breakfast time at our, when growing up. Um, but sometimes I struggle with like, oh, okay, you know, what, what, what to make? I have all kinds of breakfast ideas for you guys. And um, look at look at all this amazing breakfast stuff. You can make the egg drop sandwich or like a scrambled egg sandwich. You can make steak and eggs, which is awesome to make. Breakfast sandwiches, um, all different kinds. You can do the um, the English muffin, or you could do croissants, or you could do biscuits. There's so many different things that you could do with that. Fried eggs, all different kinds of fried eggs, scrambled eggs. Um, you know, you can mix in proteins, vegetables in your scrambled eggs. There's just so many choices. And this is probably my favorite, the, the taco, the breakfast taco. Um, I just started making this not too long ago and it is so good. I really, really like it. And it, it's really filling, but it, there's just something about it, that crispy outside shell and the fluffy eggs with the bacon and the melting cheese. It is just so, so good. Um, let's see the omelet. We can't forget an omelet. I like ham cheese mushroom omelet. So this is something that I make. Um, and, and I don't make it too often, you know, it, pancakes, pancakes are my favorite. I think probably I make pancakes the most of anything. I like chocolate chip pancakes, but you can do blueberry, you can do confetti, all different kinds, you know, plain, you can do different toppings on it. Pancakes are the best on the griddle. Smash cinnamon rolls. You can't, we're doing the Blackstone griddle video here you can't forget the smash cinnamon rolls and that's just pre-packaged the cinnamon rolls you buy just smoosh them and cook them both sides they get nice and crispy and just drizzle the frosting over top of them super super easy um so i'm just going to show you what i'm making for myself this morning for breakfast and um it's I'm doing the French toast, the cinnamon swirl French toast, which I love. That's probably one of my favorites too. I'm doing some, we're going to do a smashed sausages today. Um, so normally I do the patty, patty it out and stuff, but I'm going to do like you would do a smash burger, but I'm going to do a smash sausage. So we're going to do bacon and maybe some fried eggs. So but why don't we get started? Um, Let's see here. I have the griddle preheated at medium heat. If you use an electric blackstone griddle, you're gonna want to go uh, probably three seven or three fifty, I would say, on that. Um, this I have all the burners going. You want to make sure that when you're using, if you have a bigger griddle, do all the burners on it. I think we're gonna be cooking with all of it. So why don't we get started with making giving you some breakfast ideas that you can make on the griddle. So let's get started. I have my sausage patties that I, or sauce, they're not patties actually, the sausage balls that I have here. And so I'm just, we're gonna just make them into 
the smashed sausages. I'll show you what we're doing here. And this is just prepackaged. I had the, I think, Jimmy Dean ones that I just bought. And we're going to make sure when you do this, you leave room. And as you can hear, you can hear a little sizzle there, which is exactly what we want. And I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to try to squeeze this one in here in the middle. And I'm going to show you a trick that I do when I'm doing the smash burgers or in this case the smashed sausages i'm going to use parchment paper in between what i'm using to smash so if you have one of those burger smashers use them um that's this is a perfect thing to use it for i don't have one so i'm just using what i have and i've actually found that if i use two of the spatulas it works out really good so i'm going to show you what i do so i put the paper down Put one of the spatulas down on top of it, and you're going to squish one in each hand. You're going to smush it down. And if you need to, use the heel of this one to help leverage to get it the thickness that you want. And if you need to move this around, if your patty gets bigger than the smash, you can do that. You can always go back and smash some more if you need to. There we go. In the the rule of thumb is you want to get it about the same thickness all the way and um and sometimes it's kind of hard to do actually that one is like thinner on this side and a little bit thicker on that side and that one's better i did a better job on that one and go like that look at that how nice I'm going to show it, get some, get a close up here and show you if you can see closer what I'm doing. So parchment paper, the spatulas, one, you smush a little bit in the other one like this and then move it around if you need to try to get an even thickness like that. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. There we go. And here, nice sizzle. That's exactly what we want with this. We want, this is, and the sausages are going to be quick cooking because we are doing them thin like this. They're going to quick cook quick, just like a smash burger would. And so you're going to want to watch them close. That you don't get them overdone and voila that's all that that all that we did there so then i'm also going to be i had some bacon that i'm just going to cook up some bacon i'm going to do that here i used some of the bacon yesterday in the fried rice and so this was just the leftover from the pack i'm just going to cook this up and we actually like to just eat this um you know even it's cooked up we can make blt sandwiches with it um my husband just takes and opens the container i'll put it in a container like this in the refrigerator and he'll just take and actually go in and open it up take a couple pieces eat it and then shut it and walk away from it and so um bacon doesn't last long in our house because my husband will literally eat a whole pound all by himself if if i allow him usually i'm like i need a couple pieces you gotta break cheap and give me a couple of them oh um and the bacon does cook quick too so watch so you don't overdo it i have a sometimes i have a tendency if i'm doing other things i will overcook it so you got to be really careful with that um and I just have a bucket of soapy water down here that I'm using. I usually just will do that. And I also have the roll of paper towel. I have one of the older griddles that doesn't have the fancy uh, paper towel holder on it. So I just put it on the shelf there. And I always usually will try to remember to bring out a garbage too. Because it's easier just to take and throw the stuff in the garbage. We're going to focus back to the sausage, the smash sausages. And they look like they're cooking. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Uh, 
There we go. Nice crispiness. And yeah, we don't want to overcook them. That is one thing that you don't want to do. They got nice crispiness from the adhere to the griddle. Yeah. Just like that. Perfect. So now I'm going to focus on the French toast. I like to make a cinnamon swirl French toast. And my bread of choice is I go to a local bakery and get the cinnamon raisin swirl bread. This is my favorite. I love, love, love to do French toast with the, this kind of bread. I get this if you're local. I go to the um, Orchard Lane Country Store and get this from the ladies there. Their bread is amazing. Love it. So I have my eggs here, just scrambled up some eggs, added a little bit of milk and some vanilla and some cinnamon to it. I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to take my French toast and just dip it. You don't want to keep it soaking in there. Just a quick dip, one on each side. Put it down on the griddle. Oh, and actually I forgot. There is seasoning on the griddle, but I am going to use, I know some people will use the grease from the bacon and stuff to do in there. I am not a fan of cooking my stuff in the bacon grease or the, like the sausage grease. When I'm doing, I want it to taste like French toast. I don't want it to taste like the bacon or the sausage grease. So that's why I'm just using the cooking spray. So you can use butter. I like to use cooking spray on it. I just add just a little bit on there. I'm gonna wash up my gosh here. And I'm just gonna finish the rest. I have uh, three slices that I'm gonna do of the French toast. So you wanna make sure that you got an even coating that there's the egg batter on all sides, even, even on the, the side of the toast there, of the bread. And see, like this, I have a spot where it's not quite. You want to make sure to get all of that covered. There we go, like that. And then I take, when I'm doing this, I don't, I didn't explain it, but I take my fingers and just kind of press gently so that I get a nice adhesion to the griddle with it. And it, it cooks really well that way. I'm going to wash my hands here. Get this rag up here. So if you're coming in, if you want to leave, hi Dan, how are you? Good to see you this morning. I think my sausages are probably done. I don't want to overcook them. Yep, they're nice and crispy on both sides. I'm actually gonna take. Let's see here. I'm gonna take them off. So I have a plate here that's paper towel lined. And I'm just going to take it and just set it on there so the paper towel will soak up that grease. Just like that. There we go. Perfect. Like that. And then I'm going to take my bacon and I'm going to flip my bacon. Try to do this gracefully here. And, you know, depending on how you like your bacon, if you want this probably, if I wanted it a little bit crispier, maybe cook it just a little bit longer. But we, we usually will eat our bacon fairly, just barely, barely crispy. And separate like that, flip that. And then with this too, you will find that there's hot spots. So the bacon up here isn't as crispy as the bacon down here, even though I put the bacon on first up there. And that's just the hot spots in the griddle. And that's something that you will find when you're cooking on the griddle. And you just kind of have to work with it. You, you, you got to remember where the hot spots are at. I'm going to use a different spatula here. Flip. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect, nice golden brown. And see, this is the same way too. I put this one on way sooner than I put these 
but this one is lighter in color than these two here. So the griddle is obviously hotter up front for my griddle than it is in the backside here. And that is just something just to be aware of when you're cooking. You need to know where those hot spots are because you can easily let things go and burn and that's not what you want to do. Um, let's see. We're going to do eggs, but I'm going to just kind of wait. Eggs are, um, how are you doing, Dan? Have you been cooking, doing any, uh, any good cooking lately? Have you been making anything yummy? I know he did the chicken cutlets and he sent me the picture of it and they were amazing. So I ended up making one a couple days ago and um, they turned out really good. So thank you, Dan, for that uh, idea because it was something that I've been planning on doing and I'm like, his looks so delicious and they look perfect and exactly how I like them. And so I just had to make some for myself. So, so I thank you for that. I uh, giving me uh, that idea. If you guys have any pictures, send them to me. I really want to see them. I really want to uh, see what you guys are making. Look how everything's cooking up really nice and good. Look how golden brown that French toast is. Just perfect. So I'm going to check the bacon. Let's go back and check the bacon here because I'm probably, probably just about done with the bacon. And I'm going to stack my sausage up here. I only bought just the one tray and I'm going to be pulling this bacon because I know this, this, the center ones here are done. They're, I, I don't want to get them over. I don't want to get them down in the grease trap either. Um, so I'm going to pull these because yeah, that one's that one's done. I flip it over and yeah, it's definitely definitely done. So yeah, we're we're pulling these just like that and that. And so to do the and I'm actually I'm gonna pull these two because I believe these probably are done. Yeah, look how nice and golden brown that is. Yeah, perfect. We're going to pull them also, and I'm just going to set them on my tray here. I have a sheet pan tray that I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to cook the eggs. You can, a lot of people will take and cook their eggs in this bacon grease, this, this uh, uh, sausage grease. If you like that, go ahead, do that. Um, that, you know, it's kind of up to you. What did Dan say? Dan's doing marinated chicken breasts. Um, oh, let me show you. He said marinated chicken breasts. That sounds really good. Um, you have to make sure to send me a picture. And let's see. And he says he's thinking about doing something with udon noodles. That is something that I've not really used. I am um, haven't really made. Uh, I think my daughter maybe will use that in some of her recipes. Um, you know, I, I guess I need to get on the boat and actually try some of that, try to, to work with that. So thank you for the idea. Maybe uh, I will go and look for look at the store for some of those udon noodles and see if I can create something with it. Um, so I am, am not going to use the bacon or the sausage grease for my eggs. I'm I guess it there's going to be a little bit residual on the griddle. And so that's what I'm going to use. So I'm actually going to push most of the grease off. There is stuff still left on the griddle. There's not much on that side there. And so, and I'm actually going to turn the griddle down because it, I think it's, it's hot enough. So it, and like that, turn it down low. So I'm just going to do just a couple eggs. and. Um, there is the grease left, a little bit left over, so I'm just going to use what's here. I'm not going to add any more, but it's not going to be like soaking in the uh, 
grease. So I'm just doing a couple fried eggs going like that. And, and if you know me, usually I like to take and put it in a bowl because I hate like fishing out shells if I accidentally get shells on the griddle. Um, I didn't do that. It, I'm like, I just am going to try this. This is something new. And I also like to season my eggs while they're cooking. So I'm just going to do a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Just like that. And I am going to be using the dome lid. So you can take and like flip the egg. I'm going to use the dome lid and just let that cook just a little bit. And if it's still, if the top hasn't cooked how I like it, then I might flip it over. So I'm just going to kind of see. I like a little bit, I don't like runny. I don't like my eggs runny or anything. So I probably more than likely will be flipping it over. But you can do um, like a sunny side up egg. And um, let's see. Yeah. Um, so breakfast ideas, whatever else. If you want more breakfast ideas, you can go to my website from Michigan to the table.com. I have all kinds of breakfast ideas there. You can go up in the recipes. Um, you can go the into the Blackstone section if you want just Blackstone griddle recipes, or you can go in like all of my breakfast and brunch recipes if you want. Um, I do have like all kinds of videos. If you want to go on YouTube, if you want to watch my videos, I have the omelet videos. I have the taco, um, uh, breakfast taco, the pancakes, all different kinds of pancakes, um, different fried eggs. There's so many different ways to make eggs on the griddle. So just go take a look at that. Let's go check our eggs here. Um, See, ooh, 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 look at that. Look at that. So we and it's firm. That that I can tell the yolk is still is still, but this is all firm, and that's how I like it. I don't like the sliminess there, but that's not slimy at all. So let's I'm gonna get my plate here. And I'm going to add a sausage. And I'm going to pull these off. And I'm actually going to shut the griddle off. And we're turning, remember, shut the griddle off. You turn the gas off, completely off. And then you turn all the burners off. Like that. There we go. So I have my plate here. I'm going to show you, I like to do a, something a little bit different with my sausage and um, just a way that I grew up. I'm just going to put my fried egg right there. Oh, that looks so yummy. Set my fried egg, other one down there. Look at that. So we have our cinnamon swirled French toast. We have our smashed sausage. The egg, and I forgot a piece of the bacon. Let's get some bacon in here. And we have our crispy bacon. Woohoo! This is this is my kind of a breakfast. I like to eat. You know, I usually don't eat like this hardly ever. I mean, I will have more of a tendency to eat this at nighttime versus eating it in the morning. But I really love on a weekend. I love making really good breakfasts like this. So especially if I have a crowd, if there's more people around, I will um, make a bigger breakfast like this. But then you have the syrup. You can just pour some syrup over your French toast. I also like to do some homemade strawberry jelly on mine. And um, ooh, this is so good. So I like my sausage. I like to take and dip it in. To syrup. It sounds weird. I, I don't know if I'm like the only one. Am I the only one that does this? I've done this for years. I can remember having sausage at the restaurant where I grew up at. Um, we had a family owned restaurant, Lentz's Countryside Restaurant in Calava, that I used to work at as a kid. And I remember getting this and dipping it in my syrup. Oh. Sausage and syrup. 
Mm -mm. Mm. I still brings back lots of memories. I still like to do this. So every time I have sausage patties like this, I always dip them in my syrup. No. Mm. So if you need some breakfast ideas, if you need some griddle breakfast ideas, go check this out. All kinds of recipes for you. And put in the comments, tell me what you made. If you made something different than I've talked about, tell me what you've made. I'd love to hear, love to see pictures of, of what you're doing. And I hope you guys make an amazing breakfast. And we will talk later. Let's see. Let's see if we have any questions. Dan, does Dan cornmeal mush? Hmm. I don't think I've ever had that. Um. Yeah, I've not. That is. I mean, we've done. Let's see. I grew up with like cocoa wheats or cream of wheat. I don't know if it's kind of the same thing. Is cornmeal mush this this? same it's probably not it's probably like way different um but yeah it um mm. look at this amazing breakfast fried eggs kind of crispy bacon we don't we don't do crispy bacon in our house here some perfect smashed sausages and some cinnamon swirl french toast mm. this is so this is my kind of breakfast though so, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, what are we? We're less than 30 minutes. Th less than 30 minutes it took to make this. So, a hearty breakfast, and you can feed a crowd on the griddle, especially if you have a big griddle like mine. You can feed a whole lot of people this awesome breakfast. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'm going to enjoy the day. Look how gorgeous it is out here. It is so nice. My dog has been enjoying being outside, and she actually is wanting to come outside. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we will see you later. Bye.